Welcome back. I'm joined now by Dr. Hanish on behalf of General Surgeons of Western Colorado. Um, first of all, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Of course. And we're talking about an alternative to ranitidine. So we've been um, covering that story for uh, a number of, of days now, actually a couple of weeks as this has been developing. Um, and what it is, is with Zantac and the generic version, there is a chemical NDMA that could possibly be cancer causing. I know there's not a lot of information at that at this point, but you know, for a lot of people, that's kind of worrying them about continuing to take this drug. Sure. Yeah. Um, and for that, I know that is the general um, kind of drug that is used for, is it uh, gastro reflux and GERD? Mm -hmm. Gastroesophageal reflux disease, correct. Yes. Um, so uh, for that type of treatment, you know, if people are concerned about the possibility that this um, could be you know, a cancer-causing drug, I understand that you have an alternative um, that could be good for a number of different patients. So first of all, what exactly is this procedure um, that you are offering for people who have GERD? So there has been a standard procedure, anti-reflux procedures for patients that have GERD for a long time. A big part of it entails repairing the opening in the diaphragm. Um, and then after that has been repaired, we used to use the stomach to wrap around the esophagus to recreate the valve which uh, prevents the acid from the stomach coming up into the esophagus. That was um, uh, causing all kinds of complications, mainly what we call gas bloat and or problem swallowing. So some engineers in Minnesota came up with this um, necklace, if you will, that's wrapped around the esophagus where it hooks up with the stomach. Okay. And it's more physiologic, if you will. It opens when you swallow and then it closes back down after the food bolus has gone across. When it's closed back down, it then prevents the acid in the stomach from moving back up into the esophagus. Okay, and this is the device, right, that you have Correct. here? Correct. Um, and so it, you're exactly right. It looks just sort of like a, like a metal bracelet. Exactly. exactly. It, it's rare earth magnets, and mm -hmm. it's connected by uh, titanium wire in between. Okay. Um, and so for a lot of people, I know when they hear surgery or like a surgical option, they get a little bit nervous. Sure. Um, so for those who maybe are thinking about this, but maybe are kind of off put by the idea that it's a surgery, um, you know, what would you say for those patients? Well, <clears throat> all surgeries have potential complications. There's no doubt about it. The complications here are fairly mi minimal and or rare. Um, it's, all, it's done laparoscopically, so they're small incisions. Mm. It's an overnight stay in the hospital, and then they're usually ready to go home the next morning. Okay. They're on regular food at, right after, and so there's no uh, diet that we have to put them on. So this is something that really, um, you know, is done fairly quickly and then the recovery period then probably isn't that long. The recovery period, the biggest thing is their lifting. Okay. It's a hernia repair like any mm -hmm. hernia repair. So we have to limit their lifting for four to six weeks to allow the healing to occur. Okay. And with, um, you know, people who are hearing this and are interested, you know, maybe don't want to risk the... Um, alternative drug option, um, how would you say would be the best way for them to learn more information? Would you say them meeting with you would kind of be the best way to go about this? I'd love to see them. Of course. If they'll call the general surgeon's office. We'll be happy to make an appointment, get them in, and we can talk about the procedure. Perfect. Okay, yeah. thank you so much. And we will actually have that information on our website, westernslopenow.com, if you are interested and would like more info. And uh, we will be right back after this break, so don't go anywhere. 